And guys, we are back here with our second game of this series, S&D on Biolab. It's Avant Guard versus Trident T1 Dotters. I'm in Maniac, joined by Vector. And I tell you what, the COD gods are gracing us tonight with the game that we just had, a less than 10 point game on the hard point where Avant Guard clutched it. Vector, I'm still getting over that one. That game gave me chills. Oh man, that, that just... Right at the end there, everything happened at once. It was just incredible to watch. One of the best games I've watched in the ACL studio, or ever for that matter, on Advanced Warfare. As we can see, just jumping into it. Two, me two members down for each team. Jumping into the S&D. It looks like we'll have to move forward from that one. Avant taking that first one, but back into this one. We're going to see how it goes. Yeah, the attacking team here tried it. Do have the advantage right now as Wolfie's the only man left alive, but Wolfie has certainly proved his worth here on the Avant Guard squad. Wolfie has been a player, player not to be trifled with. If anyone can get a 2v1, it's going to be him. He starts off by getting one player. That's going to be leaving Beeston, the only one left for Trident. However, that plant has gone down. Wolfie, the only defender left, has to get the defuse, and there is a big wrap around the map from Beeston coming right up the flank. Let's see how he's going to play this one out. Wolfie is forced to try and make a move on the defuse. He's going to go in there pretty early, but great precipitation. Uh anticipation by Beast and he got the shots out but wasn't able to finish up that kill. Wolfie forced to get off that one. Expect Beast to wrap around once again coming through the bio lab. You can see he's just trying to spot it here. Pushes in with that ASM1. The player is going to try and go in the attack. Oh my gosh. What a great play by both teams and then both players there. I mean there was nothing really that either player did wrong. I mean Beaston I suppose if there was any flaw, he could have finished off the kill the first time around. But the way they both played was really, really good. And I mean, Wolfie, it was a forced error. He had to do what he had to do. He was trying to get the defuse. Any way you look at it, it was it was a great round, and we just saw the guys from Trident come out on top. Yeah, well, that was so good there, Beast, and just wrapping around there. That flank, I did not expect to see all the way around there twice through there. Just looked so strong there, and winning the round for his team. As we can see, he's just pushing down to the right-hand side, all by himself on that Beast side. At the back there, trying to do the flank there through the mid bio lab. He's going to get a great flank here. Let's see how he goes. Yeah, we just chucked it in the COD vision to see what's happening right now. You say he's going to be the only one left alive. He tried to stay, uh, stay up, but it wasn't going to happen. And just like that, Trident do take their second round in a row. Now, don't forget, this is exactly what we saw in the previous series. Incept got that two-game lead, and indeed, they did walk away with that map. So it's going to be interesting to see if Trident can do the same. Trident have been looking very strong, though. They did miss out on that hard point. Again, by, as we said, by less than 10 points. S&D, though, totally different game. But, uh, yeah, 2-0 in favor of Trident. We're going to be seeing those guys on the attack right now. So let's follow a damage and see what these guys can do. Yeah, well, it looks like they're trying to get the bomb towards his A side. Very common thing. And to wrap around a B. So they're going to try and push through to see how they start this one off. First kill going to go out. And then trades coming in for both sides here. Down to a 3v3 there. Barney going to get the snipe with the Moors. Bomb is in damage's hands. Waiting to see if anybody there looking through to spot any players. Not going to see anybody. Cod Vision does show somebody on the other side there. So we could see somebody coming through here. But it's all down to the players. As we see gets taken down. Barney going to get the two kills for the team this round. Yeah, Barney's playing really well as well for this avant-garde squad. He's going to have that Moors in his backpack. Rip that one out to see what he can do with it. Beeson is the only one left alive, and he is pushed out the snow. Is he going to get spotted with that scope? Pushes out Barney. The timing here, the COD timing. Barney ripped back out that ASM1. It looks like he's going to get spotted himself. Don't forget that Beeson is the attacker. He needs to try and get that plant down. But Barney and Isa are both going to be trying their best to shut this one down. Beeson comes out, gets one. The player's going to be right on top of him. Does he spot it? He doesn't so far. Barney is just going to be chilling up there. Oh, my gosh. They are playing just right on top of each other. Drops down. Oh, the bomb's being picked up by Beeson. What a round right now. The plan's going to go down. Can Barney react to it? Closes out. He does spot him. That is going to be the first round here in this map to Avant-Garde. Great timing there, working in the favor of Avant. Pushing out there with that ASM1. Barney picking up the kill, and he's on that three-point streak as well. It must be noted. Able to clean up Beast, and he was trying to put that one down. 2-1 is your score right now here in the beginning days of this S&D vector. It is very close between both of these teams. Yeah, well, we see COD timing just coming in. They're sitting on top of each other, actually, there. So 
right now we can see we're just on board with Barney, who is on that three streak, as you said there, from the last round. He's pulling it big for his team there and winning first points on the board for Advance. And now they're on the attacking side. They need to see if they can get this attacking win down. Otherwise, it's going to be 3-1 to Trident, and they just need to make something happen. Yeah, they're going to do what they can. They are a player down right now, as Wolfie was dropped very early. Is saying wanted follows straight after. Going to leave Barney, the only one left alive. Make that none alive, as he was cleaned up. Just like that, all four players of Avant taken down in about 10 seconds or less. Trident just imposing their will upon this game. Chilean going nuts there. He's able to pick up that final kill. Great work. He's on his two points, two point streak of his own. 3-1 is going to be your round score right now. Halfway to victory for the Trident squad. Lagging behind a little bit is going to be Avant-Garde. Going to see if they can answer back. But on the attack is going to be Trident. And Fate is going to be running OBJ for the squad. Yeah, we can see this is the first time they've made a full push to B for the team here. And it looks like she's going to be the split for Avant. And going to get the first kill is Izzy on Chills. Going to be heading behind the bomb there. Just wetting it out. So now it's going to be a slow play for Trident to see how they can push through. Break the defense of Avant if they want to get through and plant this bomb. Yeah, they're going to be doing what they can here. Fate's going to run with this uh, bomb in hand. Two of his teammates are taken down. Avant Garda, on the other hand, are going to be full force right now with all players up. And Fate, he's just basically uh, going to get scoped is what's going to happen. Barney picking that one up. We, excuse me, which leaves Beeston, the only one left alive with a scope of his own. And Barney's scope just too good. Able to clean that one up. Another round on the board for Avant-Garde, making it a one-round game. Vector seems to be going a little to and fro in these last couple of rounds. Yeah, it's just been on and off. Those first two rounds from Trident were the big players here, meaning they are in the lead. But as you said, just back and forth on both defense sides. So now it's going to be the first person who can break this uh, on attacking side if they want to get ahead, because that is going to be the key for this match, Avant are one up in the series, so Trident will try and get this one back to a one all in the series. Yeah, they're going to try and do what they can. You're going to have Issei running the OBJ. I'm going to keep it on Beaston for now, off the defensive squad. He's got that ASM1. The Moors is going to be sitting in the backpack waiting for him. Should he rip that one out? It's going to be a player just inside the bio lab here. Let's see if they're going to make a move here. It's wanted over from the Avant Guard squad. And he's just going to be chilling there, just keeping an eye on things as his team are going to try and move up. You've got Issei, he's got that Thermal Moors as well, looking towards that circle room. No one's, got, no one's going to be there. There is going to be two players around the outside, though, as Beeston is going to be uh, picking that one up. And uh, he's gone seven for four himself. Barney, though, on the other side, avant-garde, eight for three, make that eight for four, as he was finally dropped, leaving Wanted and Wolfie, the only ones left alive for Avant-Garde. Wanted does have the bomb in hand though. Trying to make a push before B. Needs to watch his back. A player pushed straight into purple right behind him. That's Beaston. Great positioning from him leaving Wolfie. The only one left alive for Avant-Garde left in a 2v1 situation. Yeah, well that was not what they needed right there. Just Trident just needed to get something to happen. And that's it there. So that is a 4-2 right here. We need to see Avant come back. They want to keep this play-by-play -play going on, but it just looks like Trident are really strong on this S&D on Biolab, just pulling it in and getting the kills they need. Yeah, they're doing amazingly well so far, and you're going to see here Beast in cleaning this one up with some very nice shots from that SMG. 4-2 is your series score. Just a couple of rounds away from victory here for the Trident squad and evening up this series, which is currently 1-0 in favour of Avant-Garde. It's kind of uh, deja vu of our first series where we saw Incept take out the SND before uh, Avant Garde were able to sweep away the victory. Let's see if history repeats itself. Trident is going to say otherwise, though. Fate here does have this bomb in hand. He's rocking the IMR. Nothing else hiding for him. Usual standard perks. Going to be making a push towards B. He's only got uh, th well, he's got two teammates up now. As he was just dropped, damage and beast and left alive up against Barney and Wolfie. The attacking squad is, of course, Trident. And the bomb is right over on B. And there's plenty of time left. There's still 50 seconds left. So expect them to not play this too rush. I'm just seeing that the teammate of uh, damage, we've got Beast in here. He's going to be wrapping around. Gets the play on top of Blue. But he's going to be shut down in return by Wolfie, leaving Wolfie in damage. The only one's left alive. Wolfie was spotted. I thought Wolfie was able to get that slight turn. 
but it wasn't going to happen and tried it and now only one round away from victory. Yeah, well, this has looked a very good Trident squad. It was very close in the first game for this series, but this second game has all been Trident, something that we did see again in the first time Avant played, losing 6-3 to the Incept squad on, on uh, Riot, actually. I was about to say uh, Detroit, but right now... 5-2, to two, looking very similar, so we've just got to see how they can push forward and see if they can break this back, bring it back to a 5v, a five on 5, it, that would be optimal for them. It would be avant-garde on the attack, and they are, they are the ones that need to stay alive right now. This would be Trident's map to lose, but I don't think they're going to, looking incredibly strong right now. You've got Issei with the bomb, he's going to be trying to push into purple here, he got a bit of screen lag as he was, just taken out by Beeston. Now we're over with Fade. He's going to be chilling here on top of Blue with that scope out. You've got Wanted. He's going to be inside of Purple. Let's jump over to Barney and Series out. He's out here in the snow, jumping into Biolab. He's got the bomb. Both of his teammates are in here with him, so expect them to make a push together. You're going to have a few players of Trident spread out. You're going to have one just outside of, uh, I believe that's going to be outside of Purple. He's just going to keep an eye on B there. You can see a little bit of a trade there as Chills and Barney both picked up kills. Leaving as another one falls. That's Fade being taken down. Damage now the only one left alive. Avant seeming to be in a good position to stay alive in this one. Yeah, well, it looks like Barney's going to get the bomb down and get shot at. Damage can't take him down to a 1v1, Ooh. but it's now a round to Avant. 5-3, now going on the defense. Could come back in this one. Looked pretty strong in that round right there. Yeah, they did. They played it. Uh, they took their time playing that one, and it paid off. Tried it. Almost able to answer back there with some great moves by Damage in the end. But Damage was going to be shut down by the AR of Wanted. And uh, you can see there a couple of players already on double digits. You've got 13 kills there for a player of, I think that was, uh, yeah, it was Beeston from Trident on the other side. Barney's going into double digits of his own. However, straight here into round number nine. Five three is your round score in favor of Trident. Avant-garde playing for their lives here in the map. Damage is going to do their best, do his best to shut that one down though. Wolfie taking a very early fall at the hands of his AR. Barney picking up one, make that two. Issei tries to answer back. They're going for the sweep here as Beeson takes a fall and make that four players from Trident taken down in a row. Could this be the comeback? It's looking good. Yeah, well, Avant cleaned up there, made sure to get every single person there. They were able to rotate quickly, take that A site back. Bomb did not go down for Trident, so this has worked perfectly in favor from Avant here. 5 4 looked very strong from a 5 2 position match point all the time here, so they just need to work it out here as a team, play it slow, try and get this bomb down. Yeah, and let's see how they're going to stay alive. They are going to be back on the attack here. It worked well for them last time. Let's see what Issei is going to do. He's rocking that IMR, usual standard perks. Looking down towards that circle room. There was going to be one player down there. I don't think he was going to spot him. Let's have a look from that point of view. It's damage with that ASM-1, and he does have danger close, so expect him to put those nades to use. Issei just darting back and forth. This game has slowed down quite a bit right now. He's still just uh, looking around the place, scoping things out. That player just uh, that was down in that, uh, so, excuse me, down in that circle room. He has pushed out. Look at this though. This looks like there's going to be a bit of a fight outside of purple. Beeston picking up the first kill of this round. Barney taking a fall. Now you can expect there to be a bit of a move here. The player was going to be just outside. That's Damage who picked up the nade kill on Wolfie. Beeston, Beeston picked up Wanted, leaving inside the only one left alive. And just like that, they're going to clean things up. Try and walk away with the victory here on this map. 6-4 on the S&D on Biolab and tying up the series 1-1. Yeah, well, looks like we can go to the next map over here. One on, well, 1v1 now on the scoreboard, making sure we go to a fourth map no matter what here. So Vant did have a little comeback there, getting two rounds in a row, but it was not enough to make up for their early losses of those five rounds there. So just coming back at the end for Trident, making sure they won that one. Yeah, they've done, they did pretty well to come back too. I mean, especially when Avant guard, they switched up their momentum in those last couple of rounds. Uh, prior to the win there from Trident, but Trident able just to uh, put their stamp on that map and pick that one up. So, guys, we've guaranteed a fourth map at minimum. Up next, however, is going to be map number three. It's an up leak. We're going to have Avant-Garde continuing their series up against Trident. Can they make it two series wins in a row? We'll be finding out right after this break. <laughs> 